Oh, yeah. you... I will do it. There you go. Okay. All right. So take it away. You got about 20 minutes. Okay. Well, first of all, hello. And thank you so much uh, for doing this interview. I'm elated. I'm a huge fan. And <laughs> I'm so excited to talk to you about this. It's like a, a it's a celebration, but it's a little bittersweet because I can't believe Queen Sugar is not going to be um, a regular anymore. First of all, how do you feel about the final season preparing to air in about a week? Uh, I feel good. I feel good. Uh, I'm nervous. Um, I'm always hoping that the work we did reaches people and that it's good work. Mm -hmm. um, Cause sometimes you go back and you see the edit and you're like, Whoa, I, that's <laughs> not what I remember doing. Um, but as I, but as I've told some other people, like I'm, I'm still processing, like yeah. I'm still processing the fact that it's over. Mm -hmm. And like, whenever I think about it too much, I'm like, and tears, like, I'm just <laughs> like, you know, I'm crying because this was a really amazing opportunity right um and it was amazing for me to like be with my people and mm -hmm. be a part of something that was about our people mm -hmm. and the fact that we've touched so many people so like I'm excited but I'm like sad because I know like this this is the last like this is the last um this will be the last time we'll be watching these episodes you know um but yeah, I'm grateful, man. I I um I I think it is my my I think it might be my best role to date that I've played, and um the closest closest role to me that I feel like I fit. Yeah, you know. So I'm just hoping that people like go on the ride with us. This is our last ride, and yeah. I hope people. You know, we all hope, even Ava, we all talked about this, but like, you know, you hope that you can end it in a way that your viewers are like, yes, yeah. you know, I, I'm I'm hoping for some full circle character moments, mm -hmm. I'm hoping for Nova's growth, I'm right. hoping for people to see, you know, Nova love somebody and actually stay in the room <laughs> and not, and not run away. <laughs> um, I'm looking to see to see all of those things, and I hope people when they watch it. Um, I hope people are you know I hope people dig it, and also it's not an end because I feel like we're also just showing you like glimpses of what the future might be. Right. So it's like I think we're gonna end it in a way where if we wanted to do another season, like we, we probably could. We keep I love that. I love that. <laughs> That's yeah. that sounds awesome. Um, let you know that was actually I wanted to ask you how close. What are the parallels between Nova and Rutina? Because you, I mean, the character has so many layers. And you know, when I was reading about your background. I was like, I wonder, you know, where she finds the parallels between the character struggle and the character's growth. Because over the last six seasons, we've seen. Nova really become more vulnerable with her family. You know, she's, she started as this very, you know, absolute, this is how it is and this is how it isn't. And then we've seen her kind of learn more about herself and then let, you know, her relationship, especially with her sister. Um, we've seen a lot of her soften up and, and learn and grow, you know, even in the mm -hmm. way she interacts with the rest of her family. So what are the parallels that you found between yourself and the character as you, you know, allowed her to grow and saw her maturity over the last six seasons? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, the first thing is, you know, I'm the oldest in my family, so I am the older sibling. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of pressure on being the older sibling and taking care of your younger siblings, even your cousins. So I gotten over right away. Yeah. And I also got how she didn't hang around the family much. She just went off and did her own thing because she's very independent. But mm -hmm. I get it like from my mom. My mom is very independent too. So like I learned to be like, oh, I got it. I'm gonna go do that myself. Like I don't need help. Like I'm, you know, and I was just like, oh, I get her. And then with her heart, you know, with my sexuality, I'm very fluid. And, mm -hmm. and I loved that Nova was fluid because that made sense to me. I was like, oh, I get that. But mm -hmm. she, but, but be, playing Nova has made me show up for myself and not be afraid of my sexuality being fluid. Like, that's fine. Yeah. I can be me and right. I can be free, free with it, you know? So it just was like, she, she kind of brought me a little bit out of my shell, I think, right. playing her. 
and um it's been it's been great and and also when I describe myself, I describe myself as a beautiful mess. <laughs> and Nova is a beautiful mess. And I think, you know, as we come into this final season, we'll we'll get to see that mess organized. <laughs> and we'll get to see that mess be like, you know, not so messy, but something that is substantial and complete and together. Mm -hmm. um, like my hope is for Nova to be together. Cause yeah. like she plays together. But she's not really, you know, she got some stuff she got to deal with. She's got some stuff she got to deal with. So I'm hoping with, um, you know, with the relationship with Dominic, for instance, that mm -hmm. you see sort of, like I said earlier, she you see her stay in the room. Right. Um, and, and not be, um, you know, not be afraid of the love. And I think for me as Rutina, I, I was just like, man, I know what it's like being the oldest. I know what it's like having my heart broken in a way where I just don't want to love anybody else. Yeah. I know, I know what it's like being over here, being over there, <laughs> being over here, being over there. <laughs> like, you know, loving everybody, you know? Yeah. So yeah, I mean, um, it's wonderful though. It's wonderful because, you know, I've met so many real life Novas who are like, girl, that is me. You are me to a T. <laughs> yeah. Like, thank, thank you for showing myself to myself. Like I just, she, they were like, I didn't even think about myself in that way until I saw Nova, Yeah. you know? Um, and that's beautiful to me. Like, I feel like that's when you know, like you're doing a good job with the work when people Absolutely. come up to you and they're moved by what you're doing, you know? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think the entire show there's so many things I think one of the things that I love the most about this show is that you see these characters that are so passionate and you love them but you also see their flaws and their issues you know we love we love Nova but we got it I was angry with you for like an entire season when the book came out I'm like what and <laughs> I would watch I get it with my daughter that was, that's our family. Like that's our little tradition. We watched together. And I was like, I am not feeling Nova. And so I wonder, you know, I think a lot of, you know, obviously on Twitter, you see a lot of people were reacting to that because she did seem all together and she's always the, the, the voice of reason. And then she did something that was so opposite of what you would expect from the older sibling. That's always, you know, keeping everyone together. So I thought, you know, there must be some type of, she must have some type of resentment or something in there that would cause her to expose everybody's secrets in ways that were so hurtful for the rest of the family. How did you kind of interpret that pivot for her? And then that entire season was filled with the backlash from her, her actions with the book. Yeah, it was horrible. It sucked. <laughs> um, I was like, nobody likes me um this is not this does not feel good um but first of all uh Nova doesn't have any resentment I don't think so I okay. think I honestly think and this is my honest my honest my honest opinion like her intentions um were for the healing mm. and I and to really her intentions really were like tired of the family secrets mm -hmm. let's talk about it mm -hmm. and let's heal mm -hmm. the part in that though is you know, you can speak your truth and write your truth, but you can't write somebody else's without their permission. And right. she knew that. She also is so fully independent in her stuff that she was like, I want to write this book. Mm -hmm. And I know if I tell them, I'm not going to write this book. So I'm right. going to go ahead and write this book, mm -hmm. you know, but her intention behind it was, well, maybe if they just read it, yeah, they will get an understanding of why I'm doing it. And what I love about going into season seven is I think you're going to see some of the family members look at Nova and be like, I didn't like the way you did that, mm -hmm. but thank you mm -hmm. because we needed it. Yeah. And you, and, and for her to hear that back yeah. from her family is like, she needed that because like I said, it wasn't resentment. Her intention was like, but we need to talk about it. Yeah. Like we need to heal. And, 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 you know, I, I really think once they really re got, you know, over their anger, mm -hmm. I think they realized that as a family, like, you no, know, she was trying to heal us. Yeah. And, but, but you can't heal somebody who ain't ready to be healed sometimes too. Cause some people don't want to talk about stuff until they're ready. Right. So it's like this fine line that Nova kind of like walked and she took a risk, she did. Um, <laughs> a big risk in writing that book and not telling anybody. And she knew it. 
And then that's why that whole season, like, it's my least favorite season because it was just like, oh, my gosh, I'm so down in the dumps, like, all the time. Like, this is, like I said, this is uncomfortable. It was mm-hmm. awkward. Yeah. Um, but in the Black community, I know, and I can speak for my family, too, like, we have secrets and stuff that we don't always talk about. But I know that when we have brought some things up, it's been healing. That's true. Yep. And, and sometimes you got to, you know, you got to go through it first. You got to actually have the hard conversation. Yeah. To 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 be like, oh, I feel better. You know what I mean? I, I feel better than I did. But if yeah. you don't ever have that conversation, you don't get that. You, you don't never... get that feel, feeling yet yeah, to know. If you put the work in and it's like Nova was doing all the work with the book, but the other work was telling the family and that was <laughs> the work she didn't want to do. Oh, yeah. you froze. I hope you heard me, though. I can hear oh, you. It, it's it's frozen. Oh, on you're frozen. Too. Wait, yeah. can you hear me? I can hear you though. Okay, all right, okay. we're back. Okay. Um. Yeah. I I definitely understand that, and you're right. Oh, you're still, uh, okay. It's it's, it's like freezing up every once in a while, but I can still hear you, so we're good. Um. Okay. We do have, you know, the black community. We have had that's behind closed doors. So whatever is behind closed doors, you keep there. But there were some huge secrets. They did come out and um, the audience was watching along. So that was like, we got a chance to kind of watch and feel the pain. That's another thing about Queen Sugar. You feel the emotions, you all, I mean, it's a beautiful cast um, and we get a chance to feel the hurt, the ups and downs, and it's all, you know, full circle as opposed to this person is happy. This person is sad. This person is the the bad guy. You know, there's no such thing, Mm -hmm. you know, with the board alone. So another thing is the, ability that the writers and directors had for bringing issues that were happening in real time to the screen. It felt like during 2020, you know, Queen Sugar actually helped us to kind of get through that because it was like, we saw you all with the mat. It it just felt very much like, okay, we're all in this, the police brutality episodes. How difficult were those? Some of my favorite scenes were with you and, and, and Micah, you know, and, and seeing how, you know, he kind of came to you as um, a mentor and someone to look up to because he felt like you could understand what he was going through, the passion he was Mm -hmm. feeling. How did, how did you get through that? Cause that, those scenes had to be difficult. Some of those had to be really difficult to do. They were very difficult. Um, you know, I, I remember early, uh, don't quote me on the season, but the season where Micah gets pulled over and goes yep. to jail mm-hmm. is one of my favorite um, and one of Ava's favorite moments as well um, is Nova putting, deciding to put her sweater around his waist yeah, yeah. because he had, you know, um, yeah. gone to the bathroom yeah. um, and that his parents didn't even notice that because they were too busy arguing. Mm-hmm. Um, so beautiful. And then, you know, all the police brutality stuff, especially in season six, I think was a George Floyd episode and maybe season mm-hmm. five, but season six, I think that was really, um, no, not hard. It, it just hit me different. Um, yeah. I, re- I remember not saying the names too much, just enough to get like making sure I was pronouncing everybody's name right. Yeah. But literally when that camera started rolling and we did that first take, I just said the names. And I had never just said the names. Yeah. Um, and the list goes on. And you're, and you're, and, you know, I'm sitting there and I'm like, and I'm still reciting. Mm-hmm more names and it was really um it was a like a beautiful first take because I just like I lost it at the end because I was like and we are here mm-hmm. in 2020 this is what we're doing mm-hmm. um like what is going you know you know what I mean so it just really shifted me to mm-hmm. actually um you know have to say the names it just it hit me in a way that my heart like melted but also it hit me in a way as an artist of like this is important yeah People yeah. need to see mm-hmm. this because this is exactly what Nova would do. Right, right. She would do it. She would do a tribute to mm-hmm. the, you know what I mean? She would, she would do a whole ceremony and think that's just how she is. She's a woman of the people. And, you know, her mom was a, a voodoo priestess too. So she was very, she has that in her. Yeah. Um, yeah. It was surreal. Like, cause I, I, I remember just being like, um, after the first take, I, I kind of like cry, kept crying for a little bit. 
and then I had to like get myself together, you know, and come back and do it again. But I was just like, phew, like, yeah. um, you know, a lot of times we're so busy with our lives. And if you don't pay attention to the news or anything going on in the world, you, you miss stuff. Like you can miss a lot of stuff um, that is necessary to be mm -hmm. seen and also necessary, I think, to be healed yeah. sometimes. Um, so I love you're not the first person that said that, that like watching our like COVID season and stuff like people were like, yes, because this is exactly what I'm going through. Mm -hmm. um and to see the border loans go through that was was really yeah. you know this you know people also didn't feel so left out because it's like we're all in this together right like, we gotta wear our masks yeah but we still go but we're still gonna give you the show right we're gonna put this mask on you know what i mean <laughs> right no that was it it was like they're in this too but they're doing it and so it felt it felt very much like we were a, it felt like we we're a little bit a part of that family um you know the Another thing about that time, it was difficult and a lot of other, you know, shows kind of chose to skirt around it. And I feel like, you know, Ava just head first, like this is it. It hurts. It's uncomfortable, but this is not for this. It, it, you're not supposed to be comfortable right now. And so, you know, we, we, we faced it head on and it was, it was beautifully done. Um, what are some, I guess maybe like if you could give me two or three life lessons that maybe you've learned from Nova or maybe you would hope that the audience learns from her example. I guess I've seen so much growth in her over the last six seasons. I can't wait to see this new season, um, this final season, but what are some of the lessons that she's learned, you know, since we were introduced to her, you know, at her father's bedside, you know, just devastated relationship with her sister, totally in a different space, even um, with yeah. Banjo, all of it. Uh -oh. Okay. Are we good now? No, oh, you're cutting out a little bit. Uh oh. Okay. And now we're good. Okay. Uh, but I missed some of that. So um, yeah, life lessons from from Nova from episodes. Well, from seasons one through six. Yeah. Like I think. Um, well, I mean, for me, this is just for me in my opinion. But Nova has really taught me self-care because mm. you can't be a woman of the community and do the, all the things that Nova's does and not take care of yourself right like you really do have to put yourself first mm -hmm. um and do what it is that you want to do what it is that makes you happy you really do gotta gotta do that before you can help anybody else right you know and then I also think that I'm hoping people sort of take away the fact that like family is powerful but it, and it also has the power to heal mm -hmm. um because I think that you know in seven seasons you've seen the borderline family go through so much and you've also seen us heal from it so mm -hmm. I think that I'm, I want people to take away the fact that hey you know even if it's like you know as a person you're like man it's been 10 years I'm gonna go I'm gonna talk to my mama like mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go have that hard conversation with her. Do it. Like I want people to actually get uncomfortable mm -hmm. being uncomfortable and push through it because on the other end of that, healing is so beautiful. And mm -hmm. it's so amazing when you can look back on a part of your life and be like, dang, I was a mess, but I got it together now. You know, whatever it is, um, I want people to see that. And I want people to, you know, um, take care of their families yeah. um because you really only get you know that's all you got mm -hmm. um and I think on this show I've also learned that everybody is doing their best yeah. at all times yeah. you know and um that they don't always succeed mm -hmm. um but that's but 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 like that's okay but I just you know I feel like the borderlands got a lot of push through like we just keep pushing <laughs> <laughs> and I think people will 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 see that too and know that like, you know, well if Ralph Angel can get get it together, like then maybe I can do it for myself. So I hope that makes sense. But yeah, but yeah. yeah, it does. Um, my, one of my last questions is about you know we we love seeing story love stories, and the interesting thing about Queen Sugars, there's some very uh the love stories are different than the traditional ones right we, i love hollywood and vi obviously you know there's a age difference there <laughs> we don't often see those type of romances that just are so there's so much chemistry and charisma they just feel so good even ralph angel and darla like there's different love stories we're hoping that nova 
you know, gets her love story, her final love story, or at least something that feels like it resonates with her personality um, and is that final one. What, what is your perspective on the different love stories? You know, even Charlie and Davis, there's so many, there's so many that don't necessarily fit what we usually see as traditional, right? He messes up. Yeah. Pants. I think um, that's, you know, the, the part of the Black love that I think we showcased a lot. I think I love Ralph Angel and Darla because you see them with their struggles and then we see them on the other side of that. And then, you know, an older, younger man loving an older woman, like that's possible with Hollywood and Vi, you know, and then Nova being all over the place. That's possible, <laughs> right. you know, so um, it's all of that. It's all of that. It's Black love. And then it's also just the universal meaning of just love and loving who you can. Does that, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Last question, um, just what are you excited about, you know, watching with us uh, for season seven and and potentially beyond? What's, what are you looking forward to the most? I, I'm thinking I'm just looking forward to seeing how people, final ride and I'm hoping that they will um, love it and embrace it. Um, I'm all also, you know, curious to see people's reactions. <laughs> so, so that's going to be fun. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I saw the trailer and it said that the, the possibility of the book being made into a movie. So I'm wait, like, wait, oh, my God, wait, <laughs> what is going to happen when the book goes into a movie? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> But yeah. thank you so much. Thank you for your patience. You. I know we've got some weird storm issues happening here, but thank you. And I can't wait to watch the season with everybody. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure. Thanks, <laughs> Bye. Crystal. Thanks, Brenda. Bye. Bye. Okay. So, hello. Wait, one second. One second. Okay. Give me one second. Yeah.